Alright, I am going to be doing a Pokemon Red Blue and in percent no save corruption tutorial. I'm not the most qualified to do this, but I've been running it for a little while. I know the route pretty well, and I haven't seen a tutorial video on it, so I decided why not make one. Essentially, all you need to do to start is you come down here to your options, set your text speed to fast, battle animation off, and press start. And then you're simply going to start the new game, mash A and B. Come down here, select blue, because it's a lot quicker than it is to uh, type out your actual name saves two seconds. Here you're going to want to name your rival AA and just continue to mash through after that. I'm going to be doing an outdated route but it's a much more user for, or not user friendly but a beginner friendly route. Come into the PC, grab a potion, exit the PC and then we're just going to go down and trigger the oak cutscene. Just mash through his text, pretty simple. I'm gonna take you into his lab. About now, if you've done perfect execution or close to perfect execution, with grabbing the potion, it should be about a 104 when you enter the lab. Again, just mash through your text here. And you can come over here and you're gonna select Bulbasaur. Just mash through, mash through, mash through. And then you're going to nickname him a single character nickname. Most of the time it's just A because it's right there and you don't waste any time. Continue to mash the text. Come down here. Bad movement there. Mash the text. You're going to trigger the rival fight. <clears throat> Ideally you want a sub three rival fight. Or at least that's what I've been told and that's what I... I normally aim for, as you can see my PB though, I got really screwed over because he can growl you a lot. So all you're going to do is you're going to sit there and you're going to mash tackle. Just spam tackle as much as you can. I'm getting really lucky right now, obviously, you know, the time when I'm not actually timing my game. Got two really good hits in the very beginning and he failed tackle or growl twice. If you ever get below 7 HP, you're going to want to use your potion that you picked up. Because his criticals can go for 5 and you don't want to have too little HP. There you go. Simple as that. Here you're going to want to stop mashing so you can check your special. Uh, your special determines uh, how you're going to do your route. In this case I got 13 special. Uh, 12, 13, and 14 are usable. Uh, 12, you have to go through and do the PP strat, which is a lot slower. 13, you just have to do two random or a random encounter with a level 2 or 3. Or you can do both, that's what I'm going to be doing. Just mash tackle through your encounters. Aim to encounter Rotatas because they can use Tail Whip, so you'll save your HP for later. I recommend fleeing from any Pidgey because they don't normally use Sand Attack and they just chunk away at your HP. I'm just going to come through here, try to take the path very similar to mine. There's a lower chance for encounters there, but if you get the encounter in this situation, you would need it. But uh, <clears throat> any combination of level 2 and 3 Pokemon will work. Like this is a level 3 Pidgey, I don't feel like fighting it. Or you can fight a level 4 Pidgey or Rattata. And that should also get you what you need. Uh, 12, you have to do the PowerPoint strat, which means you have to encounter until you're level 7. Should be a level 2 and level 3, level 2 and or 3 twice. Or a level 4 directly. 
Um, right now we're just basically casually playing through the game for the most part. But uh, 14 you go through and you do not fight any encounters at all. 14 you escape every encounter. Um, and just go straight back and play the game casually basically until you get past Weedle. Okay, that was pretty good. Zero encounters on the way back. Alright, you're going to come up through here, continue playing the game casually. But uh, for the PowerPoint strat, since I have a few moments to talk, um, once you hit level 7, you have to organize your moves in a specific way, and I'll mention it later. Um, but you have to have each move set to a very specific amount of power points left. Um, in that way, it's, it's a slower route, but it's way more consistent and way more safe. You don't have the chance to uh, soft lock your game or crash the game as or you technically theoretically could still soft lock or crash the game but the chances of doing that is a lot lower we'll just match the text here okay and this is when the route starts to uh, you start to uh, build up the exploits to the game okay you're gonna go back through Viridian just like before or Vermilion same thing, uh, if you still haven't got your two encounters, do it. This will be the second encounter to push me to level 7. Mash the text. If you want, you can stop there and check your special again. Pretty sure that said 14. Which means I might actually have to do the backup PowerPoint strat. And then I'll just get to explain it even more in depth there. Right here, you'll just, after that, you'll just run from every encounter as if you had the special you needed. Alright. That's really unfortunate. Okay. Well, that was a fast rival fight, but that's pretty much all that was. Okay. Oh, please no more. Thank you. Okay, now you're going to go back into the mart and you're going to buy between two and eight Pokeballs. I do not recommend anything less than six. Just because you run through them a lot if you mess up with Pidgey. I always come through and buy six or seven. It just depends on where I stop. Come down and buy a Burn Heal. And a Paralyze Heal. You can buy the antidote, but there's no point to it because you'll just waste time on the split. Because you can pick one up in uh, the forest coming up. All right, if you used your potion beforehand, or even if you just want to have a backup strat, pick up the hidden potion here. And then you go straight up. And then if you have uh, the, a better ability to RNG manipulate than I do, you can force a Pidgey encounter through here, or you can just pray to God that it works and you don't get rat rattatas and caterpies and crap like that. Just run until you get the right encounter. I think that should be it. Yep, there we go. Now you need a level 3, 4, or 5 Pidgey. 3 and 4, you just chuck Pokeballs at. 5, you tackle first. You have to hit the tackle. And then you're just going to chuck Pokeballs. And pray to God it works. And this is another reason why it's good to have that second potion. Because if he breaks out enough Pokeballs and he starts using Gust, he'll chop away at your HP pretty quickly. Alright, catch him. There we go. You're not going to nickname him anything. He's never going to be out in battle. Now, this, you need to stick to this path as best as you can. This path has been tested and proven that there is little to no chance for encounter. You'll turn left here, turn right, come up through here, and then right here you'll dart all the way over, be straight in front of the antidote, mash through, pick it up. Walk down here, oh, see, but I have fucked up somewhere and got an encounter. Oh, that has to be frame perfect, so you just don't let go of your, however you're moving. 
or else you get encounters like I will now. Because I stopped to show you guys exactly how to do it. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. Alright. Mash through his text. Make sure you talk to him from this side. Uh, if you want, you can pick up, pick up the safety potion that's directly in front of him. Don't step on the spot, just stand one block before it and press A. You'll pick up a potion. Okay, here you need to growl first. Otherwise, he'll just chop away three, three HP at a time. With a poison shot, or a poison sting is going to slowly kill you. Because he'll deal more damage than you being two levels higher, or three levels higher, depending if you get here at level six, if you had 14 special. And then you'll just mash tackle. If your HP gets below... Six, you want to heal because his criticals can do five. You can heal at seven, but it's up to you. I push my luck with this game, so I don't heal until I'm at six. Sometimes I won't even do that if he's only got one hit left. Sometimes I'll go ballsy and say, oh, the odds of a critical are low. It's really up to you how you decide to do this fight, but uh, just mash through, tackle, because that should kill him there. Yep. Okay, here, you're going to mash through, but don't mash through this part because you need to see your special. Here is where you need 16 special. Anything less than 16, you go to the backup PowerPoint strat. And from there, you have to move, rearrange your moves to have Leech Seed, Tackle, Growl. And then you have Leech Seed's PowerPoints do not matter. Uh, tackle has to move down to, have to be at 16 PowerPoints, and Growl has to be at 36. And all you, all you need, really need to do is encounter a metapod, growl him, growl him down and tackle him. Just do not break after level 8. Make sure you stay at level 8. Okay, here is the first real trick of the game. Hit B, hold start. This is called the Brock Skip. You're going to save, and then reset. Here, like as soon as it resets, hold up, select, and B. It'll rush to the menu faster. And then once this menu over here pops up, hold start and then hold A. And after you click through here, hold right. And you no longer have to hold any of those other buttons besides right. Because this guy's going to come up behind you, and boom. Okay, now if you have 16 special, and you're doing the Pidgey Strat, which is what it's called, you walk up next to him, you'll just talk to him, match through his text, but on the last on the last text box, make sure you hit and hold B, and then just hold right while you're talking to him. And you cannot let go of B for the rest of the run, or for the rest of this part of the run. If you do, it'll pop up with your menu, and then you're going to have issues. If you're doing the PP or PowerPoint strats, you're going to hit start, go to your Pokemon, switch Pidgey, and Bulbasaur. And then you no longer have to hold B, you just hit the button, you just talk to him, and then hold right. See, that, I don't know what that happened, but I want to say I just, no, I was supposed to flash my menu. You have to flash your menu after you, uh, right before you talk to him. Inside of that, or my, or the Pidgey doesn't have a proper health value. If that happens, then I'll just reset and show you guys again. I'll probably chop that part of the video out. Yeah, this shouldn't be happening right now. Hmm. I'll try one other thing. And the worst case scenario, I'll just reset and show you guys again. See, that's a problem I know how to fix. Hmm, this is interesting. I haven't had this issue happen in a very long time. Here, just don't hold anything after you open it, and you'll talk to him. He'll come back, and he'll take you away. 
and then I'm going to go set up for PowerPoint strut. You'll notice he's like off-centered and angled and everything. But I don't know why that strat wasn't working. I'll just uh, set up and do a PowerPoint strat for you guys. I only healed him so I could have one less item to throw away later, but I'll get into that. Alright, this is how you do the PowerPoint strut. Here's your Metapod. Should be level 5. Yep. Awesome, that's what I need. Rearrange your moves. Start spamming gr or use Growl three times since you used it once on Weedle, so it'll go down to 36. And then, depending on how many tackles you do, or ha have used so far, will determine how many times you have to do it here. I'll only have to do it twice. Ooh, that was almost bad. And then once you get exactly what you need, 10, 16, 36, run away. And then just exit. Oh, and make sure you have your cursor already on save, because once you in interact with this cutscene, I guess you could call it, you can't move the cursor. That's a big thing. Alright, again, just hold up, select B, or, yeah, up, select, yeah, up, select, and B, and then hold start, hold A, hit right, and hold it. If you don't see your character bug out a little bit like that, then you didn't do it properly and you'll be taken away. Switch. Talk to him. Hold right. Boom. And this is a trick right here is called Brock Through Walls. Or Brock Skip or just depends on who you're talking to. But uh, essentially it lets you walk in out of bounds areas and during this you need to follow this this route as closely as you can because there are certain different places where one step out of bounds will crash the game and then you'll lose a run. Yeah, what the issue was right there was Pidgey had a bad HP value because you need 15, 17, 19, or 21, I believe. And my Pidgey had 14 because I did, t uh, I did one hit point da of damage too much with the tackle. But that happens. So, alright. You'll just follow this path. It's pretty simple. Uh, once you do it once or twice, you'll have it memorized. Now, essentially, we just skip the first three cities. And then you're going to come in through here. And there's two possibilities. Or if you're doing uh, PP strat, there's not two, but there's only one. You just come up here and you'll talk to. Nurse Joy, you'll heal your Pokemon. But if you're doing the uh, Pidgey Strat, and you do not see what appears to look like strength when you move in the very beginning, or at all for that matter during the walking, you'll have to go to the PC box or to the PC, switch boxes so it saves, resets, and reset your game, and then go talk to Nurse Joy to get your Pokemon healed. I'm not exactly sure what happens there. But uh, it's another issue with one of the HP values that are acceptable acceptable for the Pidgey Strat to work, but not acceptable for the full effect of it, and you have to save and quit somehow, but you can't access your start menu. Okay, and then you just come through here, come get the coin bag, or coin case, mash those text, come back down through here. Alright, and now this is where uh, you'll pick up 120 coins so you can get Abra. 
because Abra is the last Pokemon that you acquire in this game. Talk to this guy. Give me 20 and there's a hidden 100 coins right there on the floor. And this is why people choose blue over red is because the uh, Abra is cheaper. Uh, I think he's 200 and something in red, maybe more. Talk, grab Abra, do not nickname him. It's a waste of time. Teleport back to the last Pokemon Center and you'll go back to Saffron City. Now from here, you just come up, deposit your other two Pokemon, Pidgey and Bulbasaur. And now we're going to do another glitch. Uh, you'll do this glitch twice. Uh, this glitch is known as Trainer Fly. Um, you'll just walk down. And essentially what it is, you're triggering a trainer fight, but you're escaping before the trainer has a chance to come to you. Okay, so you get to exactly this spot, hit left, hold, start. And now here, you have to make sure your coin case is in your fifth item slot. And then you just use Abra and teleport. And now you see he gets triggered, or I guess he gets triggered, wow. The uh, battle is triggered and starts, so the game believes you are in battle now. But you're not. You just make your happy little way up here, come to the gym, and you're going to, you have to make sure you do this exactly as I am, because if you walk directly in front of these guys, it'll crash the game. You have to make the trainer walk to you, because that's how the fight was when you left. You'll mash through here, and then you're just going to spam teleport. There's a chance that he'll use X attacks, leers, he'll miss. So this is RNG based. And it's kind of miserable because I've lost a few runs to him just spamming leer. Which is why if you look over at my splits, there's a picture of my chop with the word trolling next to it. Okay, here you're going to hold start at the black screen. Mash B. So you flash your start menu really quick. You come down here and you're going to get your menu pop up again. Just mash B through it. And then you're going to get into a random encounter. Well, it's not really random because we know what it is. But it's missing now. Here, you don't catch him, you don't fight him. You just run away. And then you come down, do the exact same setup, train or fly. But it's a little bit different this time, so you gotta pay a little bit more attention. Hit left, hold start, go down to your items, come down here. You'll see this, it's a, that is... I don't remember the number, it's 100 and... 99, yeah, 199. You'll toss two, and then train or fly. That's adjusting how many items are in your inventory because missing no doubles the amount of items that are inside of your sixth slot inventory. And we need 252. I believe it's 252. And then you'll, you'll notice that the rocket that was right here is gone now. That's because that rocket is dis or the sprite for the rocket goes away anytime you get a legendary encounter and trainer fly triggers as a legendary encounter. And for anybody who might ask, um, if you look into the center uh, where the 316 is next to the 235, 235 is my sum of best. Uh, the, to the, the farthest right numbers is my sum of best, and the middle is my current PB. Hold start, flash your menu, mash B. Come down here, you'll do the same thing. Mash B. Oh look, wonder, is it missing go again? Yes it is. Because train or fly how it works is you will always get an encounter after you die. But the encounter is based off of the special attack of the Pokemon that you were last last saw. I don't know, I hit Pokemon. Now you're going to come into your items. You're going to switch your third slot with this crazy number, 252. Then you're going to toss it. And you're going to toss full stacks of everything until you get to the new crazy number, the 252 antidotes in this case. You're going to toss the full stack twice. What this does is it makes your inventory believe it is empty. 
or not empty, but you have negative one items in your inventory, so you can access this thing known as inventory underflow. On the third time you go to toss it, toss all but two. And then you're just swap one, swap one. And now with the now the game believes that even though you can see I have three items in my inventory, it thinks I have negative one. So now I can come down here and here's the game's memory. Here you can adjust x-axis, y-axis in the game, and a bunch of other cool things that are in different uh, different categories like reverse badge accusation, which is one that I'm learning now. Here you'll find the j.x9. Now this one, depending on your rival name, will be a different number which will change, which is why we use AA because one, it's a quick double tap on the A button, and then on top of that, I've accidentally just done A and that number is entirely different, and I don't uh, I don't know of any surefire way to uh, fix the issue. You'll just swap it with the Ultra Balls four slots down, and you're going to come through and you're going to toss 11. It goes from that crazy white and blue screen to a black and green screen. Then you're going to come find the Master Balls four slots down, and swap. You get this pure, pretty much pure whited out screen. Hit A, mash A, because you know have the glitch known as fastest test, fastest text. And that is the Hall of Fame warp. And now here you do not stop the timer until the screen fades to white. Not starts to fade to white, but once the screen fades to white after the Pokedex rating. So right about now. That's the end of the run. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, I've been meaning to make this for a couple of days because I haven't seen a video for it in ever, for that matter. The only videos that I see are segmented videos for the new Ditto strap, but not everybody can do that. It's not exactly the easiest thing to do, like 15 seconds of frame or 20 seconds of frame perfect inputs. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was informative. If you've got any questions, comments, concerns, remarks, recommendations, go ahead and post them down. I'm going to have this up on YouTube, on Twitch. Go ahead and post them. Um, you can follow me on Twitch, subscribe to me on YouTube, do whatever. I don't care. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun.